Happy World UFO Day. It's Friday before a long holiday weekend, so let's have some fun. UFOs used to just be the stuff of the silver screen, conspiracy theorists, and guys with extra hubcaps and a camera. But if you've been paying attention to the news the past nine months or so, you'll have heard that the Pentagon has finally admitted to decades of UFO sightings by naval aviators all around the world. The guy next door with the tinfoil hat doesn't seem so crazy now, right? And who knows, maybe the CIA has been reading your brainwaves all this time too. Anyway, World UFO Day was organized in 2001 and was put together to bring together enthusiasts of UFOs and the evidence they've all gathered to support their existence. Knowing that the possibility that we'll one day encounter other intelligent life in the universe is practically 100%, they knew it was vital that people started having the dialogue about their arrival long before there was accepted proof that they arrived. If you're looking for something to do this evening and none of your friends are calling, why not celebrate World UFO Day? Go watch some sci-fi movies and some have some out-of-this-world treats like neon green punch and ice cream shaped like the head of a, uh, an alien. You'll know you celebrated this day to the fullest if you can't go to sleep tonight because you're worried about abductions and probes. Even if you aren't a hardcore believer like Mulder and Scully, you may enjoy the idea of UFOs and aliens because it makes our universe a bit more fun. Most of our days are spent doing the exact same thing day in and day out, Get up, go to work, eat some leftovers, scroll through Netflix indecisively, and go to bed. We almost crave something that breaks us out of the monotony of the mundane. Just look at the major IPs and franchises from the past 25 years that have had worldwide success. We are like kids in a candy store for stories, whether that's books, movies, games, or whatever, where some, someone ordinary like us has something happen that makes moves them into a more extraordinary world. Whether that's Peter Parker getting bit by a radioactive spider, Harry Potter getting an invitation to Hogwarts, or Bilbo Baggins getting a knock on his door. Yes, these are fictional characters in already extraordinary worlds, but in those worlds they were ordinary people who became aware of the extraordinary. Same applies for us here in our perceived reality. UFOs are a tease that there's something out there that makes our world more extraordinary than we currently experience it. The same thing goes for ghosts, zombies, angels, demons, magicians, and superheroes. Whether inspiring or terrifying, they are all things we can imagine existing in the same world we do. And that gives us a thrill. The possibility of it simply makes the world we inhabit feel more fun. The actuality of it may be a different matter entirely, though. So, be careful what you wish for. Anyway, just over a month ago, I made a video about commitment and stated I was making a commitment to doing a daily video each week. Well, at least for this past month, month I'd say I succeeded. I hope you also made a commitment to yourself to do something for June and that you are now able to celebrate that accomplishment. It's been fun doing a happy day topic each day and they've been a nice summer treat. But as we start heading towards our fall running season, I'm going to be structuring these videos differently to hopefully provide you with more information that will help you perform your best starting next week. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to talk about in the future, please drop a comment below or shoot me an email info at fitnable.net. And if you don't mind, please share this video with your friends and family as they might hear something in it that helps them too. As always, Thank you for racing with Fit and Able, and have a great holiday weekend.